with this ahead of time because uh, we do have some running today. Um, there will be a modification for running if you're not running because I, I realize that some of you may be, I don't know, potentially on the second floor of an apartment building or something and it may not be convenient for you to go downstairs and run. Um, so some of you may have already kind of mapped out your 200 meter run and that is wonderful. Um, those of you that have that are able to run today, but you don't quite know how far you should run. Um, those of you that are regular CrossFit members, you probably have a general idea of what 200 meters is. Um, the other option would be that you're running, that you run for one minute, okay? Now, if you can't, if you don't have access to running, you guys will have uh, two other options that I'll go over um, in just a minute, okay? All right? So keep that in mind as we go through this. Just think about, you know, what you're going to do as far as running um, if you are running outside, okay? Now, the workout today, we are actually going to start out with some ab work after we go through our warm-up. We'll start out with um, a little ab session here. It's going to be three rounds, uh, 30 Russian twists. This will be 30 total, so 15 each side, and then 20 weighted sit-ups, and then 10 elbows to plank. And we'll go over these movements, okay? After we get through that, you guys have a four-time workout. Uh, however long it takes you to complete this, that's going to be your score. That's five. What's up? That was five rounds. Yeah, I haven't even said that yet, April. <laughs> Four time, four time. It's four time. It's going to be five rounds for time. time. It's a 200 meter run, 30 dumbbell goblet thrusters or kettlebell, and then 30 lateral hops over your dumbbell or your kettlebell. Okay, and we'll go over all of these movements so everybody's on the same page. But this should take uh, most of you somewhere between 15 to 20 minutes. Okay. Any, any questions? All right. So I'm going to have everybody uh, go ahead and mute your video, and then we're going to get started on our warm-up, okay? All right. So to start your warm-up, we are actually going to do a 200-meter run. So those of you that know where you're going to run, you're going to go that distance. If you have no idea where you're going, I want you to run for one minute. This is just going to be a jog, just warming up the body. If you are not able to run, you've got two options. Option one is going to be one minute. This, the, if you want to challenge yourself, one minute of high knees. Uh, the other option, if you need to modify that, is just going to be one minute of running in place. Okay. But I want you to be quick about it if you are staying stationary, okay? So, with that said, 200 meter or high knees or stationary running. Ready and go. Ash, you should go for the high knees in the workout because it'll be more challenging. <laughs> what, you'll have to right now, but like, in the workout, you totally should go high knees because it's harder and it, you're also going to get an ab workout with that. Roxy's taking me along with her run. Woo! We are running. <laughs> So about one minute of running. Um, oh, just so you guys know, I am not timing your run. <laughs> so I hope you guys are. I'll let you know when everyone's coming back. We've got one person back, two people back. You guys can go ahead and rest. Here comes everybody. Awesome. Perfect. So everybody finished about the same time, all right? We've got a couple of people making their way back. 
All right, and Russ is back. We got three more people. What's up, Gregory? Got it. Two more people. All right, Brian and one more guy. Glenn, are you there? Yep, I'm back. Oh, okay. I thought you were still running. I was like, ah, I think he went too far. <laughs> okay, cool. All right, guys. Uh, so we're going to go into a squat hold. Uh, I want you guys to sit at the bottom of a squat. We're going to do this for 40 seconds. And when you're in the bottom of that squat, I want you to go back and forth from one side to the other side to the middle. Just kind of Warm your ankles up, stretch your ankles out a little bit. We're gonna hold this for 40 seconds, okay? You can also put your elbows between your knees and drive your knees out, okay? All right, here we go. Three, two, one, and go. 40 seconds here, pushing the knees out, rocking from side to side. Try to keep your chest up and your feet flat. Hold it there. You guys are over halfway. Ten seconds. Five, three, two, one. All right, now you're gonna go wide with your legs. Wide stance here. You're going to keep your arms straight. You're gonna squat and then overhead 10 times. Think about keeping your arms in line with your shoulders and just kind of throwing them up at the top of that squat. Just keeping this arm straight. Almost like you're holding a wide kettlebell or something. All right. Now, five times each side, we're gonna go from a Wide lunge position here, pause, and then go back to a straight leg. So five times on the right, and then five times on the left. Ron, we're gonna do closet squats in a minute. You, you, is your knee bothering you? I was dreaming, so I didn't hear what you said. <laughs> Wait, what is it? I was dreaming. <laughs> you were dreaming? <laughs> Just go to a lunge. All right, after you get a five on each side, we're going to hold a 40 second plank on the hands. From here, halfway through that plank, I'm gonna have you guys start doing shoulder taps, okay? So we'll hold that for 40 seconds on the hands. In three, two, one, and plank. Try to keep the hips low. V, bring your hips down. Hips down, try to keep your body in a very, very straight line. And go ahead and go into shoulder taps. Opposite hand to opposite shoulder. 
Still try to keep your hips low. Five, three, two, one. Just come to your knees because we're gonna do something else on the ground here. This time we're gonna go 30 second side plank. Just try to keep your hips in line with your shoulders. Three, two, one, and go. If you can, I'd like for you guys to be on your hand. Um, that way you can be stretching your wrists because we do have, a, we've got some thrusters coming up. 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Go ahead and switch over to the other side. We'll do that same thing. In three, two, one, and go. <clears throat> Ten more seconds. And Rest, all right, you guys give me 20 jumping jacks. Twenty total. After you get those jumping jacks, you're going to get ten wide arm circles forward and ten back. Try to get your arms as wide as you possibly can and focus on rotating uh, that shoulder, okay? Keep the arms straight, rotate forward and back. 10 times in front, 10 times back. All right, and this last thing here, you guys are gonna give me 12 reps of this. This is a sumo squat jump. You gotta focus on keeping your chest up. You're gonna be in a wide stance. What you're doing is you're actually gonna to touch the ground with your hands, okay? So you kinda of look like a frog here. From here, jump. Touch the ground each time. 12 total, wide stance, and go. Make sure you are squatting and not just hinging at the hips. Squat, actual squat. What? Yeah, you jump, Lauren. Touch the ground. There you go. All right, perfect. All right, guys. So we're going to get into our ab work here. Um, this is going to be, like I said, three rounds. Whoop. Three rounds. 30 Russian twists, this will be 30 total, 20 weighted sit-ups and 10 elbows to plank. Your Russian twists, you can do this uh, weighted or non-weighted, that's up to you. So, if you have a dumbbell, you can hold it two ways. You can hold it like this, or you can hold it like this, okay? You're gonna be sitting on the ground, your feet can be up, off the ground or on the ground, but you're gonna slightly lean back and you're rotating the torso here, okay? Now, the next movement after that is gonna be your weighted sit-ups, okay? You can have your feet in that butterfly position if you want to, but you're taking your weight back behind you, up and overhead. All right, and then finally, after that, your uh, plank, I'm sorry, elbows to plank, 10 of those. It's gonna be starting out on the elbows, hand, hand, elbow, elbow, hand, hand, elbow, elbow, okay? 
So you'll end up doing 10 of those. Any questions? All right, three rounds. Yes, I have a, I have a question. Um, yes. So for the elbows to plank, you, you know, you, you lead with one hand and then you go up with the other one. So you want us to do like five on each side or something like that? It's gonna be five on each side. So, so you start on all the elbows, hand, hand, elbow, elbow, that's one. Okay. Hand, hand, elbow, elbow, two. Okay, here we go, guys. I have a quick Three question. Rounds. How many? I have a quick question. Those How many? Are, yeah. Yeah. Hold on, April, April, you go first. Um, those are really hard for me. Can I only do five? Which which one the hand to elbow? Yeah, yeah. Go go with six. Make it even. Okay, okay thanks. You can do it on your knees too. Okay, just okay. like a like a push up on your knees. You can do that too. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Coach Chen. Yep. Uh, I was wondering the I have a thirty five pound kettlebell and that's kind of heavy for me for the yeah, setup. Yeah. Don't use that. Just do regular okay. sit ups. Okay. Regular sit ups. All right, guys, once you're ready, go ahead and begin. This is gonna be three rounds, 30 Russian twists, 30 total, 20 weighted sit-ups or non-weighted sit-ups, and then 10 elbows to plank. If you are doing those weighted sit-ups, Try to keep your arms locked out so that when you sit up, you've got your arms locked out overhead with that, with that object overhead. Woo, Edwin, dang. <laughs> That's rough, man. And when you guys are doing the um, elbows to plank, really focus on keeping that straight line with your whole body. So you're gonna keep your hips low, squeeze your butt, squeeze your midline. Nice job, guys. <clears throat> On your Russian twists, if you notice that your feet are moving around too much, go ahead and just put your feet on the ground. You're gonna get uh, more benefit out of that movement. That way your feet can be planted on the ground and you're just twisting your torso. V, try to keep your hips as low as you can. <laughs> oh, hey, Lauren. 
<laughs> Jen, do we, uh, Thanks for that. Going? Wait, who's talking to me right now? Jen, do we just keep going after the first round? Yeah, you're going to go through three rounds of this. Oh, okay. make that seven of my team thought, members on here. We got Erica. I thought there was on. a break in between or something. Well, just take your rest when needed. Okay. <clears throat> nice guys. Good job. Mark, are you finished? Nice. Mark, did you go for your one mile run today? I did, right before I started this. <laughs> High five. <laughs> um, so the 50 pounder for the um, thrusters. Um, is yeah. it okay to do like a mixture of thrusters and goblet squats? I mean, it's mm -hmm. like, yeah, have you tried it? Have you tried it holding it yeah, like this? It's not, I mean, it's just like, I'll be, I'll be slow. Yeah, you can, um, you know, it is a lot of reps. If you, if you wanted to stick with the thrusters and just uh, cut your reps down, that could, that would even be an option as well. We're just like a time cap even. It, we're trying to keep this, most people, have, well, pretty much everybody's been under 20 minutes, so definitely don't want to go any longer than that. Okay. Um, and we can also kind of see, like, even if you wanted to try that first round with all 30 and just kind of, I can kind of keep an eye on where you're at in comparison to other people and just say, hey, maybe cut your reps on the next one. I mean, it's okay, even if I just do like 20 minutes and yeah. Yeah, even that, just turn it into an AMRAP or something. Sounds good. Yeah, because I think you can handle that 50 pound for a thruster. It's just going to be really challenging. <laughs> I also ask you the same thing, Jen, because I have a 53 pound kettlebell. Yeah. Um, yeah. So for for like um, like for Mark, this this is actually this is not single arm. This is a, actually a goblet um, grip. So you're uh, holding it here. Yeah. That should be fine then. Yeah, I think you'll be fine. You'll be fine with it. Both of you will be fine with it. You'll be able to do it. It's going to be challenging, um, but you can both do it. And like I told Mark, uh, if you feel like it's taking you way too long, then just cut your reps a little. Jen, okay. is it going to be this, this hold again? It's going to be upside down. We'll go over it, and I'll have you guys all do it Love so it. I can take a look at you guys. By the way, I ran for you. You ran for me. Yay! One mile down. Woohoo! Um, I think we should negotiate uh, half points for every additional mile over one mile. <laughs> oh, man. Come on. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> we talked about that. That would be a disadvantage because there are some people who really are runners and they'd be like, oh, I ran 10 miles today. You know. <laughs> <laughs> we figured one mile is pretty pretty doable for for most people i managed it barely 
Yes, good job, Ash. I love it. This whole thing is like definitely making people run more, so it's pretty cool. <laughs> I know I've been running every single day. Feels good though. Yeah. All right, let me take a look around. It looks as if everybody is just about done, but I want to check and see. We've got a couple more people who are finishing up. April, are you mean mugging me? <laughs> you get that serious look in your eyes. I was when you were saying that running is fun. <laughs> it is. No, it isn't. I did it last night. I wanted to die. <laughs> well, I'm proud of you for doing it. I'm going to do it tonight, too. Yes. Good job. I do it at night so no one can see me. <laughs> You're so silly. <laughs> All right, if you're done, just uh, grab a drink here, rest for a moment. We are just about finished. Everybody's just about finished. All right. <laughs> Lauren. <laughs> You're silly. Okay. Looks like we're all done. All right. So uh, we're going to go over um, these lateral jumps and these goblet thrusters. <clears throat> uh, again, this is going to be five rounds, five rounds for time. It's gonna be a 200 meter run, or like I said, if you don't know that distance, you're just gonna run for one minute, or you're gonna do one minute of high knees like we did in the warm up, or one minute of just running in place, okay? Uh, after that, you have 30 dumbbell or kettlebell goblet thrusters. So you're going to be holding your kettlebell or dumbbell with both hands here. All right. So with your dumbbell, you'll be holding just like this in front of your chest. When you go into the bottom of your squat, make sure that you still keep your elbows up. So whenever we do our thrusters with a barbell, we always say keep your elbows up. Okay. You still want to do this with the dumbbell or the kettlebell. So we're going to squat all the way down and then press overhead. Still using the momentum of your hips. So you wanna open up those hips really quick, okay? With your kettlebell, you're gonna flip your kettlebell upside down. You hold, not upside down, I'm sorry. You're gonna be holding it on the bottom, just like this or this, whichever. Keep it close to your chest, same thing. We're gonna squat all the way down. Up. Okay. Jen. Yes. Can we do body weight thrusters? Is that a thing? Who's talking to me right now? It's Lauren, but I'm asking on behalf of my current partner. Thanks. Aha. Uh -huh. Do you have anything that weighs something? I have a garden gnome. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> um, something I, something uh, possibly round. Or square. Yeah, we'll find something. Are you home? Yes. Uh, a smaller container of laundry detergent or something like that. I have a, I have two dumbbells, but we were just wondering. Yeah, get her something okay. so she can do that movement. Yeah. Okay. If you can't find anything, she can just do air squats. Okay. Okay. All right. So before we go into this, I want you guys to give me uh, five. Five squats, but I want you to pretend that you are holding your dumbbell or your kettlebell. Start with your elbows up high, 
And when you're doing these five squats, focus on that quick extension of the hips. So snap the hips open from here, snap, okay? Let's go five times. Nice, Ron. You guys keep your chest up, elbows up. And then after you get five with no weight, go ahead and grab your weight, grab your dumbbell or your kettlebell, and let's get five reps. And I wanna take a look at you guys. I saw you already, Edwin, you're good. Okay. You can also turn your uh, kettlebell upside down either way. If you're worried about, um, if you're worried about potentially knocking your chin with that handle, flip it upside down, hold it here. Okay. Actually, it's probably safer to do that way in all honesty. <laughs> all right. Okay. Now, next thing. Your lateral hops. This is gonna be lateral jumps. If you have a kettlebell, you're gonna flip it down so that it's laying down, okay? Unless you wanna challenge, but your lateral hops are from side to side, just like that, okay? If you wanna challenge, that's up to you, okay? <laughs> but you can stand it up if you'd like to. Dumbbell, keep that flat on the ground. Same thing, lateral hops over. Okay, if you don't feel comfortable jumping over a, a piece of equipment, just do lateral hops, okay? If you don't feel comfortable, I'd rather you do that so that there's no, um, there's no risk of twisting ankles or anything like that, okay? So, how do we count that, reps on this one? What's up? How do we count reps on this one? Is it each side oh. is one? Yes, so over is one, over is two, three, four, okay? Great, thank you. And it's gonna be 30 total. So you guys go ahead and let's get six, six jumps. Make sure you're comfortable jumping over that uh, piece of equipment. Like I said, if you're not, you don't feel comfortable, don't risk it. Just do lateral hops. All right, perfect. You guys are ready. Yes. Okay, we are aiming to keep this under 20 minutes, okay? Most of you, to get between 15 and 20. Um, it's five rounds for time, 200 meter run, 30 dumbbell or kettlebell goblet thrusters, and 30 lateral hops over your dumbbell or kettlebell. So you guys go ahead and uh, make sure you're muted. Make sure your water's nearby. If you have music, play your music, headphones, put them in. If you don't wanna hear me yell at you. <laughs> And then we'll get started pretty soon. All right. And once you're ready, just uh, stand in front of your camera, if you can. I know some of you are probably maybe by your doors. Mark is like, let's go. <laughs> All right, looks like everybody is ready. Hi, Tori. Okay, guys, we're gonna get ready here. I'll give you a five second countdown. In five, four, three, two, one, and go. Nice job, guys. Keep it up. Like I said, if you want to challenge yourself, get those knees high. Good job, Michelle. Nice work. <clears throat>
Good job, Kay. Okay, we've got 30 thrusters. Elbows high, chest up. Drive your knees out. Come out of that squat quick. And I should have mentioned if you have, if your piece of equipment is way, way too light, if you feel like it's way too light, you could opt for a single arm thruster and you'd go 15 on your right, 15 on your left, if you'd like to do that. There you go, Jasmine. Nice job, Edwin. Woo. Keep it up, guys. Once you finish that first round, you're going to go straight into that second round. Starting with that run again. Nice work, guys. Let's go, V. You got it. There you go. Ash, I thought we talked about these high knees. There you go. <laughs> Hey, at least do 30 seconds high knees, 30 seconds running. Yeah. Nice job. Lauren, you guys are totally in sync. I love it. <laughs> Good job, Gregory. There you go, Glenn. Keep it up. Andrea, keep your chest up. Keep your chest up and just bring that dumbbell to your chest, okay? There you go. You don't want to let it pull you forward too far. Nice work, Jeff. Those thrusters look good.
<clears throat> we are six minutes in, six minutes in right now. Nice job, Mark. Here we go, Libby. Back into it, girl, come on. That's it. You guys don't rest too long. Come on, V. Take a big breath in and let's get back to it. That's it. <clears throat> Edwin, round three. Good job. Keep it up, guys. Here you go, April. Come on, Michelle. Okay, we're nine minutes in. Mark, that dog wants to go run with you. <laughs> you should do a doggy run. Just carry it on your back. <laughs> Nice work, guys. Go, Roxy, go. I feel like I'm running right with you. <laughs> She's got her phone on her, so it's just like... <laughs> Keep it up, Kay. <laughs> Some of you are in your serve round here. Looking good. We're coming up on 11 minutes.
Let's go, Jeff. All right, Ash, take a deep breath. Let's go. <laughs> Power through it. That a girl. Nice job. All right, ready, Edwin? Here we go. Come on. I know it's heavy, man. You're doing great. Here we go, Tori. Russ, are you done? Dang. <laughs> We're almost at 14 minutes. Good job, Travis. Keep it up. There you go. Let's finish it up, Gregory. Come on, you got this. <clears throat> All right, 15 minutes in. Let's go, Michelle. Come on. Down and up. Just keep it going. Nice job, Warren. Nice go. Nice job, guys. Good job, Jasmine. What time was that, Jen? You got it. 15.54. Thank you. 16 minutes in. Come on, y'all. 
You're so funny. <laughs> Jen, what's the time? 16.29. Thank you. Welcome. That's it, guys. Keep it up. Let's go, Roxy. You're almost done. Nice work. Good work, Michelle. <laughs> yes. Glenn, you Glenn, are you done? Yes. Yes. All right. Nice. Nice job. April, you good too? Nice. All done. All done. Who said that? Me. Ash. Oh, Ash. <laughs> nice job. I'm flipping through like, who said that? <laughs> Good job, Ash. Mm -hmm. Nice work, Travis. I, I'm around short. I had a little emergency with him. Huh? Oh, Why are you that's, so upset? That's okay. <laughs> so, Five-year-old crisis at the moment. Oh, he's so cute. <laughs> Can you say hello? Hello. Say hi. Hey, buddy. <laughs> He's like, nah, no. I'm good. <laughs> good job, Ron. Well, yes. Maybe I can finish up now. All right, let's go. You got it. All right, we've got a few more work in here. Let's get it, let's keep it going, guys. Right over 19 minutes. 19.05, Edwin. You got it, Mark. Go, Libby. Okay, are you done? Okay, keep going, girl. Let's go. Let's finish it up. Good job, guys. Yeah, Mark, 20.05. 20 minutes, five seconds. I scaled it four rounds, Jen. Hey, you know what? You had a heavy dumbbell, so. <laughs> I think my runs were longer than uh, prescribed, too. I think they were, too. You were um, coming back on the later side. No, it's OK. I don't mind. Let's no, Mark, I feel you. That was heavy. Yeah. Good job, you guys. I you stuck guys with it. What's up? I stuck with that. I didn't scale it, so. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah. It was Ooh. pretty bad. Yeah, I can imagine. I had Let's pieces see. of grass as my round counter. I feel like I didn't do as many rounds because I plugged in my score and it was like, Crazy fast. <laughs> this is what I was using. Well, what are you 
What is that? Yeah. Grass. <laughs> I had like five pieces of grass and I came, I knocked the last one off. I was like, well, that's five. And then everyone kept on going. I was like, oh God, <laughs> go away. Let's see. It looks like everybody is done. Hold on. Let me scroll through here. Roxy's finishing it up. She's got a heavy kettlebell too. Let's go, Roxy. You got it. Good job, Kay. <clears throat> you guys, uh, don't forget to um, total up your points today and make sure you log that in SugarWad. If you're on a team, you should all be on a team, except for Lauren's friend there. But um, she did earn points for Lauren, so that's great. Yeah. Woo! Woohoo! <laughs> um, let's see. There are going. I want you guys to be on the lookout for another. Who is that? <laughs> is Who that Roxy? Yeah, Roxy. I have twenty more. The kettlebell is super heavy. You keep going, girl. 